Hey guys, it's Noah here from Audio Cube, and today I'm going to give you a super quick new run through of the latest update. I've been working super hard on this to bring some cool new features and just improve the basic engine. So first of all, you'll notice a new login screen. There's a bunch of preferences in here for setting a custom folder or color theme and UI scaling, which can also be done with a keyboard shortcut of control and plus or minus on your keyboard. I'm just going to sign in here. Uh, there's also an option to skip the sign-in screen once you've logged in. So one of the first changes you're going to notice is the new project manager screen. This has got a huge amount of improvement compared to the old version. You can navigate it with your keyboard. Uh, you can pick which folder to use uh, for saving and loading projects. You can sort your projects in alphabetically or by time, and you can search for your projects. So let's go ahead and quickly show you a few little things that have changed. So first of all, you'll notice that the UI is completely different. We have all the uh, buttons up here to open all the various different views and editor windows. Still got the acoustic settings that have had a bit of a revamp, uh, record, master volume, that kind of thing. Uh, camera controls are here, which you can just rotate or change the angle and stuff like that. Whoops. Uh, You'll also notice the new grid system, so the animation style and the appearance is a little bit different. I've added a gridded system for the wiring, which you can just toggle on here. Uh, it also just shows a bit more direction. Bunch of new colour themes, and you can make your own custom colour themes. Just check out the full guide on the website how to do that. Uh, bunch of new keyboard shortcuts. Uh, most of them are hidden, I mean, shown in the tooltip. So, for example, you can create a new sampler. Mac computer today. One of the biggest and most requested new features is like uh, preset pathing for automation. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to grab your device. And you're going to click down here on the motion editor. And then uh, you can do manual where you record it manually, but let's go for a figure of eight today. Just hit play. Uh, yeah, click set center to set the center point. And then you can just change the size, but let's press command F, to, oh, control F just to lock onto this device. So now you'll see that we're just following it around. And we can change the speed. Uh, the width. Uh, this one isn't actually playing. So let's just quickly put a sample into this. Uh, I mean, I should have picked a better sample, really, but I mean. Uh, uh, hi. Phase. There's all kinds of shapes. I quite like random, which is a little bit intense when you have that. Uh, so yeah, that's a, one of the big new features. Uh, let's just rotate the camera to get unlocked from that. Uh, also change the sound wall editor, so it's a bit easier to edit the shapes of your walls, which are fully... Uh, going to simulate reflections and occlusion and that kind of stuff. Uh, also now got an undo control, which is very cool. Uh, which, yeah, it does seem to be a little bit buggy. And one of the other cool new features is the terminal. You just hit backspace and then help, and you can get a list of commands. Uh, you can move it around like, yeah, check out the keyboard shortcuts that will say everything. And let's just start a new project. Let's close this. So that, I think, covered most of the features. I mean, just very quickly running through it all. Timeline has been improved. It just handles a bit better. You've got all the stuff here. Um, you can save your projects up here. 
just change the way things look a little bit, made it all look, look a bit nicer. So yeah, that will cover it for now. Got it all basically very briefly covered in five minutes. Uh, check out the full patch notes on the website, download it yourself, uh, look through the user manual and yeah, let me know if there's anything you think needs to be improved or if you have any ideas or questions. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, enjoy the new version and I will see you soon with some more news.